As I'm sure you know, Bloxburg updated two days ago, and as usual, the update came with some secrets. So today, I'm going to be going over all of the secrets in 0.12.0 Halloween update. So we'll first start off with the new backpack. If you didn't know, in the new update, Bloxburg added a backpack and inventory system. So you can now equip and roleplay with almost any interactive item in the game. So for the first secret, this backpack made job items usable. So for example, if I were to search in pickaxe, it is right here. I just have to go equip it at the mine and then I can roleplay with the pickaxe. Here's the paint sprayer from the mechanic job. Here's a fishing rod from the fisherman job. So now most of the items that you can use in a job, you can also roleplay with. You can also place almost anything anywhere on the map. So if I were to equip this lion, for example, so you can place items almost anywhere you want. You can't place it here at the Plenty of Pumpkins and Orchard. If you were to place it, it would tell you, you do not have permission to place items here, try somewhere else. But if I were to step outside the boundaries of the Plenty of Pumpkins and Orchard and I place it, there you go. If I were to grab another one, I can place it over here. And if I grab another one and take my bike right here, and we'll go ahead and drive over to the Bloxburg town, I can place it here on the sidewalk or over here on the road, or even in City Hall, which I think is really cool being able to place items anywhere you want. There is an item placement limit though. So if I were to grab a few more, we've already placed three down. So if I were to grab some more and place them down, it'll say this item cannot be placed currently. Try again later or with a different item. And then it will give you the option to remove all. So here we have six lions plus the two we put on the road and one over by the Plenty of Pumpkins Orchard, which is nine in total. So you can place nine items. When you do try to place another one though, it says try again later. So I'm pretty sure these will despawn after a certain period of time. But if you don't want to wait that time, you can click on your character and press remove world objects and they will all disappear. And while we're in town, we'll go ahead and go on to the two secrets around the map. The first one is that Bloxburg has removed all of the beach decorations. They've chopped down the palm trees, packed up all of the beach toys, and it is now basically just a plain sand beach. The only thing they did keep is these little changing rooms and the shower. And then for all of you wondering if Bloxburg changed the observatory season to fall, unfortunately they did not. If I head over to the observatory and I look in the telescope, I will only be able to see year-round or summer constellations. Which is fine because it just kind of reminds us that it was a summer update, keep the summer constellations always, not a big deal. But if you were wondering if they would change them, they did not. Next, we'll move on to the new TV channels. As I'm sure you know, Bloxburg revamped all of the TV channels, here is the news one. And if we look closely at the bottom here, all of the topics they talk about and like the news lines and titles, they have all changed. So all of these things here, you can come read them yourself, they're all new and there's a bunch of them. And something someone did point out to me is that you can see the time of the server here on the TV channel as well. It is 12 p.m. for me here, and as you can see on the TV, it is 12 o'clock. And then if we go ahead and switch to channel 2, we have a brand new cooking channel. It is no longer called Cooking, but instead it's called Let Him Cook with Gordon Radish. His name has been changed from Gordon Bloxay to Gordon Radish. And if we keep watching to the end of the show, we can see that Gordon Rasher has some anger problems. And he destroys the whole set, which I, th I think is pretty funny. Another fun thing is that all of the ingredients and the food that he uses in the cooking show, we can get ourselves in build mode. So as you can see, he's using a bowl of kimchi, some cheese, and some bread. And if we head on over here, as you can see, there is a bowl of kimchi right there that you can buy in build mode. And then in the fridge, you can get bread and you can get cheese. You can also make the sandwich he makes right here, the kimchi grilled cheese sandwich. If we switch to channel three, you can see we have a new TV show that replaced the unicorn show, but it doesn't completely replace it. Instead, this TV show shows us the origin behind the rainbow unicorn. As we can see here, this horse is going to be transformed into a rainbow unicorn. And then it's flying in the sky like the old TV show. So I think that's pretty cool how they incorporated that. But if you want us to watch the original unicorn, you still can on a computer. If you watch Ublock, as you can see, the old rainbow unicorn channel is still there. And then lastly, as you can see, channel 5, we have a brand new TV channel. And we have a lot of the items from the new shows. As you can see, this is the table that was used in the news channel. We also have some news studio themed items like this truss lighting and this camera here and then as you can see we also have the camera that is used in the tv show next we'll go ahead and head into build mode and this isn't as much of a secret but in case you missed it in the decorations tab there are a bunch of subcategories now so the decorations tab has been organized for us as you can see we have a clutter section a surface decor section pillows section. It'll take some time to get used to, but once we do, that'll definitely save us some time. 
We also in build have a brand new category, the hatches category, because we got the new trap doors. So you can find all of those in here. And then the last thing in build mode is that all of the Victorian furniture items have a little bit of a story behind them. They all give kind of like a backstory and lore to the haunted mansion that Bloxburg added. So I think that's pretty cool. I definitely plan to make a video going into all of this lore and backstory of the haunted mansion as well as my theories about what it will be. So keep an eye out for that. And that is all in build mode. If we head over to the gift wrapping station and we wrap a gift, there unfortunately are no Halloween items you can wrap, but we'll just take a carrot. There's also no special Halloween wrapping, but if you press select gift tag, you can say happy Halloween or boo. In the new update, Bloxburg also added some face paint, which you can actually use. If I take this and I press use, it'll give me one of two masks, either a zombie mask or a pumpkin mask. So there we go, there's the zombie. If I press use again, it'll give me a pumpkin, which I think is pretty cool that we can use that item. And if you want to get rid of the face mask, all you have to do is go over to a sink and press wash face, and it will remove the face painting. The next thing, which isn't as much of a secret, but I think it's really cool, is in the emote section, they added a bunch of categories. You have the custom category, which is the Roblox emotes that you have equipped. There's the other category, which gives you just some things like sit crisscross or sit, scare, backflip. Then you have dances, which are all the dances. Emotions, which are things like cheer, scared, shy, afraid, scream in fear, angry, laugh. And then you have gestures, flex muscles, sneeze, applause, confused, confused shrug, wave. And then one that I think is pretty funny is in the other section there is blow away and this is what it looks like. I, I just think that is very crazy, very funny. Another thing that isn't an update secret but just something that we forget about is that Bloxburg added back the kettle corn. I believe that's the one that is Halloween specific so make sure to stock up on that before Halloween is over. And back to some animations I completely forgot that Bloxburg has redone some of the animations. Bloxburg used to use Roblox animations but it looks like they have redone them all to be custom made. For example if you press T pose is a little bit different than the Roblox one because you kind of move around as you can see. Another example would be point. That now looks like this. Or applause is now different. So it looks like they redid most of them. I don't think all of them, for example, this way looks exactly like the point Roblox has, but maybe just renamed to this way. But they did redo some of them. There are also new animations with some of the new items, of course, but what I was talking about specifically is items that we already had animations for. For example, the sponge. Because we got a sponge, we now have a new cleaning animation. So you can see if I press sponge, it gives us that animation, and if I were to go over to this oven and press clean, it is now that animation. It is the same thing with the job, so if I head over to the mining job, and if I press mine, as you can see, it is a much more like dramatic kind of pickaxe swing. That is the same thing with the woodcutter job. If I grab an axe and I go to cut down this tree, as you can see, like a much more dramatic, like crazy swing at the tree. I believe the paint spraying animation is different as well. Yeah, that definitely definitely looks a little bit different. We also got an individual paintbrush, as you can see here. So if I paint, we have this new painting animation. And then because we got an individual paintbrush, just like all the other items, the actual painting animation is different as well. You actually think about what you're going to paint before painting it, which I think is really fun. You're also much more, much more crazy with it. It's fun to watch the animation. I think that's all the animations though. All the other items are new. They're not items that we had but were a part of something. But of course, if you find any others, please let me know in the comments down below. And then another, not really a secret, but just something interesting that I didn't know until just a little bit ago, was that the new Victorian dining table can hold more chairs than a normal table. Like when you go to hook on chairs, it can hold a total of eight chairs, whereas a normal dining table can only hold six chairs. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then this isn't as much of a secret, but if you've never used the items, you may not know this, is that when you use the empty carts, either kind, but as long as it's empty, you will walk much faster than a heavy cart. Because if I were to take a cart that has the boxes on it, I walk much slower, which I think is a very cool touch because it's very realistic that if it's heavier, you would walk slower. So I, I like that. And then the last kind of general secret we have is that the statue head actually turns and looks at you. If we head into build mode and go to the items description, it does say an intricate curler decorated carving of a key historical figure representing both significance and value. But through the seeing spectacle, a careful eye is always watching. It's, so it's kind of a fun hint at the fact that the head does turn and look at you. So it looks like the statue follows you around or 
even turn its head backwards, and it looks like it only does that though between 8.01 p.m. and 3.59 a.m. Because if I go into my neighborhood settings and I change the time to 8 p.m., it won't follow me, but then if I go change the time to auto, it is 8.32 p.m. and it is following me. And then that's the very same thing with 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. he doesn't follow me, but right up until 4 a.m. he did follow me. So it looks like 8.01 p.m. to 3.59 a.m. and the statue head will follow you. I think that's so cool. Go ahead and move on to the next couple secrets which are at the Haunted Mansion. And the first one has to do what's inside the Haunted Mansion. If you go in with free cam, it is empty. Obviously it's empty so that people can't go in free cam and peek in, but I'm gonna go into some details and some theories on what I think about it being empty. If it's literally just so that we can't see inside or if there's something more to it, I have some ideas. So definitely keep an eye out for that video. The next couple secrets have to do with Sabrina the Witch. First off, if you go to buy cotton candy, they're swapped. If you buy the strawberry cotton candy, you will get the orange cotton candy. And if you buy the orange cotton candy, you will get the strawberry cotton candy. So that's a fun little like secret there that those two are mixed up. And next has to do with potions. So if you don't know how to make a potions yet, you can take almost any item. So you can take an item from here. You can take one from around the map like the balloon or any item from your backpack. So I'll just randomly grab this elephant plushie here. And if we put it in the cauldron, it will make us a potion. And if I were to drink it, it'll give me some sort of special effect. The most common one for most items is it'll change the color of your skin right here. It changed my skin to this green color and the potions last two minutes. As you can see right up here, if you hover over it, it says two minutes. That's how long it lasts. And I can keep doing this. I can take all sorts of items and put them in the cauldron. So if I take another one and drink it, it'll give me a different color skin tone. Now it's purple. And if you do it enough times, there is a cooldown. So as you can see, the cauldron is too hot. Wait for it to cool down. You have to wait a couple seconds. It's not long. It's probably good now. I can press use and it will make me another potion. And there are some potions that give different effects than just changing the color of your skin. For example, if I take this baby rattle and make a potion out of it and I drink this, I'll do an animation where I lift up my head for a little second, move around, and then place it back down, which I think is pretty fun. And the potion that you make out of a baby rattle that makes you lift up your head also plays this creepy audio that the whole server can hear. If we put this balloon in the cauldron and we drink this potion, we will start levitating and we can walk around, float like this for two minutes. Pretty cool. And if we put in any light source, so I'll put in this lantern here, and we drink this potion, our screen will go black and white. And if we do it again, put another light source in, get another potion, drink that, our screen will turn this color. And we can do it multiple times. So I'll do it again, drink that potion, and now my screen looks like this. I'll do it again. Now our screen is like that. And again, the colors just get like brighter and more saturated each time. Here's another one. And now the sky is basically red. So if you have ever wanted a red sky in Bloxburg, there you go. You can now have a red sky and blue grass. So it is pretty crazy that Bloxburg added this. I'm curious what it would look like if I kept going. So I did it a couple more times. There's not a huge difference. The sky just gets a little bit redder, a little bit redder, a little bit redder. Things get a little bit bluer, a little bit bluer. So not, not a whole lot if you keep doing it over and over again. Not a noticeable change, but just a few times. I mean, <laughs> Bloxburg gets pretty crazy. And then the last special potion that I know of, we need to head to my plot for. And actually, real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at the Bloxburg map with these crazy colors. Here is the burger shop with its bright blue umbrellas. I like the neon signs too. We have our blue pizza planet. Oh, never mind. It's back to normal. But still pretty funny. Pretty cool. I think I, th I like that Bloxburg did that. So at my plot, if I go in build mode, decorations, and into clutter, and we grab the reading glasses. If I pick these up, now they are in my backpack so I can now equip them anytime I want. We'll head on over back to the cauldron, and if we put these reading glasses in and drink this potion, we will turn semi-invisible. See, as you can see, we are kind of like a ghost-like looking, like we're not completely invisible. We have this really, really cool effect. I think it looks so, so cool. And the very last secret I have is that you can place potions on your plot. So I can take any potion like this one here, head on over to my plot, and I can place it down, which is so cool. We can have potions on our plot. That's going to be so cool for some fun witch type builds. Unfortunately, it is very time consuming to take one potion at a time, but it is so worth it to have these. It looks so cool. Also, another fun little secret is this is what you look like when you use the levitation potion and then ride a bike. You kind of like stand up and kind of like bob up and down while you're riding it. Kind of a little funny fact. Anyway, that was all of the update secrets that I found in the 0.12.0 Halloween update. Of course, if you found any more, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to know. I also just want to say thank you to everyone who helped me find these update secrets. If you like 
like the video, thumbs it up, let me know, and consider subscribing. Have a great day.